Hi, Laura Chapin is here, hashtag strong autism mom with a vacation tip. Learning this the hard way, so I'm sharing my experiences with you. Never, ever, ever, ever go out to dinner on the first night of a vacation. We learned this again, I said the hard way. We went to Captiva Island, we rented a condo, and we thought we'd go out to dinner to the bubble room. Bad idea, bad idea. It was packed. It was so overstimulating for him. He was really young. He was like three years old, um, maybe four. Ugh, it was horrible. We I ended up leaving the restaurant without eating, um, screaming in the parking lot, people looking at us. It was a disaster, exhausting. So we learned that we would stop at a grocery store now and get something to eat or pack sandwiches or bagels or something. So when you get there, you can just eat and then go to sleep. Um, also our kids are not grounded and they're, it's like taking a snow globe and you shake it up. That's how they are that first day or two. Um, it's a transition. All transitions are hard for them. It's still, we just got back from a vacation in E16 and that first day was horrible. I said, I'm never doing this again. And I probably say that every vacation, I'm never doing this again, but we do need to take vacations. Just try to keep it simple and keep your expectations low, expect them to have meltdowns, expect them to be, uh, their autism to be very glaring when they're out of their comfort zone and try to stay calm. Yeah, that's a hard one for me, but we're gonna keep trying. Until next time.